Yo, what the hell? Wait. There is people. They're actually walking through the woods. What the? Yo, they're, they're coming. coming they're coming closer. I hear them. I hear them talking. Oh, there could be a cold. Let's get out of here now. No, seriously. Right, wait, wait. Let me see. Wait, can I see them with my light? My light can. Yeah! What is up, explorers? Today we're doing a video that a place in Romania that I've been waiting to even hit. You know, we, we've done suicide forests, we've done a lot of other haunted forests in the, the world, but apparently in Romania, this is supposed to be one, if not the worst, haunted forest in the world. Now, this is what people say. I don't think it's probably the most haunted one, but check the location out. That's our car, and we're literally on the mountain. Look at this. And along the sides here is the haunted forest, apparently. This is the Hoya Forest in Romania, guys. Now, there's a lot to go on. Now, there's a lot of information here. There's tons of different stories, myths, legends. We're going to get into that. But there's a spot in the forest that's just like a huge circle that nothing can even grow in this huge circle in the middle of the forest. We're getting there right now, and that's where we're going to start the history and, I guess, attempt to walk through it. It is getting a bit dark. There's a lot to document. We do have night vision cameras. We have a bunch of things. This is a proper via. This is going to be a proper investigation. If the, if this forest is actually haunted or not, that's what we're doing here. I mean, look at the look at the mud of, through the tires. We're sliding all over the place, just driving around through the edge. At the north of Valea Lunga, the long valley, in a place called Gura Baciului, the Shepherd's Mouth, is the oldest Neolithic settlement in Romania. The area was investigated by archaeologists using systematic excavations, uncovering various tombs and houses between 1960 and 1994. Alright explorers, this may be one of the most beautiful forests I've ever been in, despite its dark history. The history about this place goes on since 1960. The first thing about this place was about some photographer who discovered some flying discs above it, claiming that it's UFOs. From 1970s, there was more photos that were taken here. There's a famous photo of this place with like a UFO above it. I'll, if I can find the photo, it will be somewhere in this video if it's here. If it's not, that's what about it. Besides the UFO sightings, there's been reports of uh, people coming inside this forest, forest and coming out with rashes, headaches, uh, feeling this dark energy while being here. Um, if you hear that, that's Cody flying the drone. We're getting um, a bunch of uh, drone signal above. We're trying to see how big is this place and you know, if we're gonna get lost or not. <laughs> um, what, else, what else do I know about this? Um, they said that this is Bermuda's, Romania's triangle. Uh, you know, if you know about the Bermuda Triangle, apparently you get lost, you never come out and people die when they go into it. They, we're in it right now, I don't know what's gonna happen. Now they said scientists flew down here from France and other countries to try to do experiments on this place. They said that they actually captured faces here, like actual faces that they can't even explain. So apparently paranormal, the paranormal energy here is legit real. And one of the main things about this place is the actual trees here. The trees are very windy. Certain trees are like deformed. They said the only way it could be deformed is because of like maybe radiation. So they had theories that maybe when UFOs land and when they went back up, they brought radiation from the flying saucer onto the ground and it caused de uh, deformation in the trees. That was different, you know, there's so much different things on this forest, it's unbelievable. Um, I can say, you know, look online and, and, and you can see your theories on this place, but here's uh, my story and here's my experience about being inside this forest. Hope you guys do enjoy today's video. This is my experience, let's get it. I will say one thing. I am glad we are here in October once again. The trees and the leaves, all orangey colors. I have i don't think I've ever seen a forest like this. But look over here. This is where it gets really thick. And I don't know how far we're going into it. I don't know too much. But it gets really dense to the point of really no return. Get lost in these. It's almost like walking through like a, a cornfield. That's how thick it is over there. Whoa. So many different... Random looking trees though. There's been reports of tons of bears in the forest as well as possibly maybe wolves. Um, I know they also said snakes are here too. So that's one thing I'm a bit worried about more than anything. Getting lost, not too much. I mean, actually yeah, maybe, maybe.
Yo, I think we should just go through this. Look how, I don't know, but look how deep it goes into. This is so dense, it's thick, it's insane. Like, seriously, this is... Yeah, I don't know what that is. And, and uh, yeah, you hear nonstop, like, I don't know, wolves, dogs, I don't know. They're just going off somewhere in the distance. Obviously, and we're deep up. We're literally, like, up, up in the mountains. We're just going through everything, though. The only thing I don't want to see is spiders. I'm going to have to get my light out already. <laughs> so at the moment, I keep raising my ISO up so we can see without a light right now. So I just keep raising it. I'm at 10,000 ISO right now on the A7S II. There's actually not much light out, to be fair. But I love this camera's lighting. Thank God. Let's go through it, boys. I don't know where we're going. I mean, that's the whole thing about this. We're literally properly investigating. There's no maps. There's no proper place to go. Um, I don't know where those crazy freaking looking trees are. We're just in the forest trying to find them ourselves. There's nothing else we can really do. It's just keep looking and looking. Seems it just opened up. Everything looks the same, of course. Found some sort of like red marker on the tree. Could be a sign for anything, I don't know. We're just gonna, I don't know, we're just, we're so deep in, it's hard to even see. I can brighten it up as much as I can, as far as we can go. Jeez. Another marking. So the locals here in Romania, if you try talking to them around the, the, the forest, they don't go in there because they're scared of this place. And I can understand why. So basically, what I saw online, there was a creepy pasta story about this place. They ran experiments here in the 50s where they offered people a large sum of money, which was the equivalent of like 100,000 pounds, if they could make it from one side of the forest to the other in 48 hours, using only a map and a compass. Now, there was halfway points in between and when they stayed at this house, they started writing in a diary that they were starting to get weird faults in here. And they found the bodies about 30 hours afterwards with the diaries saying that they were going slightly mad. And that was the story. So and no one ever got it? No one, no one ever made it through it. They, it drove them insane, the actual forest drove them insane. And Bucky's gonna tell you another story as well that I didn't know about. Yeah, um, what I read online was the reason they called it the woods, the forest, what it is, what, how do you say it, sorry? It's Hoya. Hoya Forest, which is because a, a shepherd come in here with 200 sheep and never came back out, basically. They couldn't find him, they couldn't find his sheep or anything like that. Plus, it says, if you're walking through the woods, a lot of people have had nausea, feeling sick, stuff like that. All the uh, phones have stopped working, things like that. Just stuff like that. So they named, they named it after the farmer yeah, they named who it never after came the out? Yeah, the farmer who never came out. Huh. And the 200 know. sheep never came out. No, no. They, couldn't find, they couldn't find the sheep or the farmer, the shepherd. Well, you see more spiders. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, there's another one over there. We gotta be careful, we were walking. Damn it, I hate spiders. The hell? Some kind of bird. No, it's not. Some, what is that? Maybe a big ass mutated crow. <laughs> Something in a tree. Yeah, I think that's right. Call back. <laughs> <laughs> wow, who's high pitch? <laughs> it is. Get him again. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's responding. Yeah. That's intelligent. Dude, I can I'm a bird or whatever Dude, talker. I think that's a mating call. Uh oh. And he's trying to mate with you. Oh no. Yo, it's flying. It's oh. oh. That's it. Oh my god. Yo, it just took down that's, a, that's that's huge. huge. What the hell was that? It just it took down a tree. Dude, we gotta we gotta I think it might be an owl. It was an owl. Did that, you see it take down that tree? Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, so where is the tree? Where is where is Oh my god. Giant owl. It's like Ron Weasley's owl. Guys, I don't know if you can see that on the screen. You gotta look directly through it. Yes, you can. You can see it. 
Watch where my watch where my thumb is, right above my thumb. You can barely see it, but you can actually visibly see it. Oh, I can't see that. Look at that. It's Harry Potter's owl. Yeah, it's a Ron Weasley's owl. Guys, not Ron Weasley owl. I meant Harry Potter's owl. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what the hell? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave glow sticks about because we've been walking for about 40, 50 minutes right now and we could easily get lost. Some strange noises coming from in here. So I'm going to leave some glow sticks about just so if we're in a panic and we need to get out of here, we know which way to follow. Good glow sticks as well. Military grade. Yeah, these are nice. We use these in the car graveyard. Yeah, we did. We'll have to take yeah, the light off. We use these in the car cave. So we do have a goal. There is a circle. Like I said in the beginning of my intro, there is a circle where nothing is allowed to grow there in this forest. A random perfectly circle. So in this forest, there is a perfect circle, like I said in the beginning, that nothing can grow there. We're trying to find it. That's pretty much our goal. We want to at least get there. And the reason why we want to get there is obviously because it's a weird random circle, but there's been reports that 60 people went there and tried to like time travel. People believe that that circle is have some like some sort of energy where you're allowed to time travel. Also, people come in this forest and do like rituals and crazy things as well. So we're trying to find it. We're navigating through deep in. Like I said, we are in the center going through it right now. Just look at this though. This is weird. Like it's just open land with like just see, oh, now you're starting to see the fog through my screen. It is super steep right now. The leaves are wet. We're going up. Look at this. It's like a big incline right now. Proper exploring, though. Yo, this is super steep. Oh, my God. He's right here when he's cool here. Hang in there, kids. We need a, I need a pokey stick. This is no joke. We're almost there. This is crazy. I was literally sliding down. And there's spiders all in this freaking stupid forest. And I've seen like 10 spiders just in the freaking I seen like 10 spiders as I fell, which freaked me out. There are just spiders all over the whole entire ground. You see them all? Dude, I don't even wanna, oh, I feel like they're on me. Damn it. I know, me too, me too. I feel like they might be on me right now. <sighs> yeah, I know, but these are like these little jumping ones, I think. The thing is, none of us want to stop because if we stop, the ground's covered in spiders, so they'll get on us. <sighs> this is bad. I feel like they're freaking on me. What do you think that is? Some cult symbol. Just saying, I don't know, but it just looks like something like that. Black reflection. We've seen a light twice down there. Maybe a reflection of an eye or? Yeah, see it then. Yeah, yeah I saw it. Where? There's oh, there. yeah, there's a light. I don't think it's a light or a reflection. Right, let me get my night vision out. We're gonna need, we need, to, we need to take our light off. Yes. If it is someone else out here or some freaky dude, we need to shut our lights off and use night vision. I don't know. Dan's got it. Some a first sign of something maybe. It's right now you can't even see, but I gotta turn my light on real quick so you can see what's going on. Our boy Dan <laughs> is using the freaking night vision goggles to see if we can find out what that light was down there. But the problem is now we can't find it at all. So we're gonna have to just I guess we're just gonna go forward. Deer. What? It's just a deer. Uh, right past that white reflective light on the tree. Yeah. There's a deer. It scared me because I just saw these eyes come up. Oh, see I see it. it, yep, I see it. It's moving right Dude, there. My heart was beating so fast because all I saw was eyes just shoot up. There it is, it's moving a bit it's even more. Alright, yeah. we've seen it. That's the only evidence of maybe something weird or crazy going on that we've seen so far is that light. We can't des describe or explain why, 
that was shining over there of what it was or anything. But we're going towards it though. Yeah. There it is. Let it cross. So far, no wolves. Nothing be. crazy, but there is deers. <laughs> there won't be a bear or wolf cross yet because then. Yeah. They won't be around there. All right, Cody thinks we're, we're actually at the circle. Yeah. Well, actually does, yeah, it's opening up. Get your lights on, guys, brighten up. If only it was daylight to see it, but no, we can still see it. Oh my God, it's just super dark. How bright can we get it? So people understand, like, we are literally in a circle in the forest. I think that's the center, right? Right? Yeah. We have so many lights on. Yo, this is crazy. Oh my God. We just, we were in the middle of the woods and ended up in a huge circle. What is this? It's a ritual stick. Never know. Oh, it is. Yo. Dude, what the hell? Look at this. Look. Just to show you that we're in a legit circle. Yeah, we came out of that right there. They're lined up these three pits. These so if anything happens, it would pretty much be in the middle where the woods were, or whatever. Yo, I thought that was a snake. Yo, it looks like a, it looks like a snake, but it's not. Someone burnt sticks here. It's a ritual stick. Yeah, it <laughs> I think that was shaped like a snake. Look at that, look at, look, it's like, it? look, it's, someone cut it. Yeah. So it actually was used for something, probably just to stoke a fire. Yeah. Or a wizard with a ritual. Yeah. <laughs> Fireballs at the tip. Yeah, right? Definitely people chilling out here at night, yeah. though. Could be unsafe. It takes a toll. But it's weird because they're doing a fire here, a fire right there, like a fire over there. They're doing fires in. Yeah, the, the fires are done in like some sort of line, though. It is, literally. One, two, three, and then four. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Just boom, boom, boom. So Dan is using his thermal heat detection ray thingy mobabar but it actually legitimate works. You can see how sensitive it is because my spades are, and I've had all the handle and you can see, you can see that there. Yep. And then when we pointed at Bucky, there we go. <laughs> your, your glasses are cold. Okay. Yeah, it's quite funny. It's not an app guys, it's an actual like this camera thing, but it, it I, when I first there. seen it, I was like, no way, but it is a legitimate thing. It's like, how much yeah. does that thing cost? About 600 pounds. Yeah. 600 freaking yeah. pounds for that. But That's like 800 US dollars for it, but it legitimately works. But we're just literally just looking to see how long ago that fire was lit, seeing if, see if it was hot, but there's no detection of heat on the fire at all, so it's been a while. I'm not exactly sure what these are, but they're pretty much night vision goggles, because I can't see what's in front of me. But when I put these on, I can clearly see what's in front of me with a big zoom, and it records, so pretty much I'm just looking through the woods, seeing if we can spot anything, because this circle is pretty much where I hear stuff, but apparently things can actually happen here. We're in the circle where like, really like anything is possible. Yeah. There's people. Yo, Yo, what the hell? Wait, there yeah. is people. They're actually walking through the woods. What the? Yo, oh, they're, they're coming. coming they're coming closer. Oh, I hear them. I hear them talking. Oh, there could be a cult. Let's get out of here now. No, seriously. Wait, 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 wait. Let me see. Wait, can I see them with my light? My light can't even show them. Hang on. Where? I'm blind, I'm blind. Dude, I can't see them on here. Do you still see them? Yeah, there. Keeps looking like there's two or three of them. Yeah. I can hear them Stop. now. Wait. Wait, Yo, where are you going? Wait. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there is a light. They're coming. They're coming closer. There's a blue light going through it. Blue light? I see it. Yo, you see it? See it on my screen? Why is someone out here at night? No, no, no. Oh, oh, dude. I thought people don't come down here. Right, no, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, let's just go. So that thing's real. No, so no, people are coming. Here. Okay, well, that's, that's pretty much our cue to freaking go.
you never know. Oh, Jesus. You don't know. There could be freaking cult people here or something. You just never know. That's the thing. You know, because there is like random stuff that goes on. So it's probably best that we just got out of there. But, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. It is something, obviously. The light is so bright. I know. I can see in us. Yeah, true, true. I mean, it's crazy because like, okay, so we had one light that went off the beginning and then the people actually coming on, you can see clearly in this thermal that there was like images of them coming and then the blue light went off. I able to go back and check it out. We need to get out of here. Yeah, probably. Honestly, I've heard bad stories about people in here. Yeah. They only come here for one reason. It's like cold stuff. Were you recording on the thermal? Yeah, of course. Okay, we'll, cool. put on the, we'll put the footage on. Yeah, we can put the footage on. Wait, what happened? Is that you, your camera didn't just show it? I don't know. Saying all the other oh, I've come back to it now. Oh, it wasn't touch screen, screen. that man. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see it right there. Uh, right. That thermal does work good. It's legit. Good day, though. What do you think of that? What do you explain? What do you think from know. this documentary we did? Because no one else has been in here and videotaped it. I think. I think we're the first. I don't know if it just plays tricks in your mind. I feel like it. I feel like it does play tricks on your mind, but when we saw them people in there, having yeah. all kinds of visions, I had to get out. I was panicking. Uh, I'm sorry we didn't stay longer. I was just I just wanted to get out of there. No, no, it's cool because like for see, me it was like regardless we've seen people at this time of night, and from what, I mean. what we read online, it's it's normal to you know I want to get out too. Especially I didn't know what it was or how many there were. Yeah, looked like there was more than two or something. There were, it was about four or five on the camera. Do you think I so? Saw, yeah, I saw four or five thermal bodies on the camera. So I was like, they're outnumbering us already. We need to get out of here. Yeah, who knows what they're believing or what, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah.